Hello, YouTubers. Jman63 back at you for another haul video here. We have an extensive amount of stuff to kind of showcase to check out. So let's get into it one by one. We'll start off with the main lines and we'll get into the more premium stuff. So, um, again, as I always say in these videos, remember to like my channel. As always, remember to check out the rest of what I got. And, you know, as usual, comment down below and uh, feel free to click the notifications. All right, guys, let's get on with this haul. So I finally got the Honda Cafe Racer. My buddy Stanley hooked me up with a bunch of Hot Wheels I've been needing to get. So that one's pretty cool. Here's the back if you want to read it. Because I am going to open this likely. Probably going to get opened. Alright, so then we have the Viper uh, RT10. I didn't have this casting. I know originally it probably came out in red, but I thought this one was a pretty cool one. Yellow with the black and the stripes. Pretty cool casting. Alright, so the next one up here, we have Magnus Walker 356, or the uh, 70 Porsche 911. Have a 911, but I didn't have this version. thought this one was pretty cool. This is based off his actual car that he raced in L.A. in uh, midnight downtown streets of L.A. Pretty cool. All right, new one for the year, 2023, the 72 Stingray convertible, pretty cool, chrome interior, headlights there, part of the window, looks like. Very nice. Alright, so I got some JDM of the JDM set. This one's the Fair Lady Z. Or the, yeah, the Fair Lady 200. Headlights in the front. I don't know if there's taillights in the back or not. Pretty cool piece. Walmart set. Exclusive to Walmart. And I got the Honda Prelude. Pretty cool model. I like the fact that I got this in red finally now. And then we have the Toyota 2000 GT. This one's pretty cool. Alright, so onward more to some uh, other stuff. Finally got the Supernova Gasser. So this one's pretty cool, almost matches the old Supernova uh, that they had, so this one almost like an homage to that car. So if you can't afford the Supernova, this is the dollar version. Still a pretty cool piece. Sorry, Betty's driving me crazy now. And then we have the Renault Sport RS. R.S01 didn't have this at all, so thought it was cool that they had this in the lineup. Very nice. All right, so next up here we have the Dodge uh, Charger. Thought this one was cool by Matchbox. All right, let's get on word with the. Uh, More premium stuff. All right, guys. Sorry to stretch. Oh, got the Dodge Conquest finally. Stan helped me out get this guy. And the Modern Muscle Series. Pretty cool. And up here we have 
the uh, classic Collector 10 series. This one is the Corvette. The Z06 2012. Pretty cool. Next up here. I don't really have a whole lot of El Caminos, so figured this one was pretty cool. Liking that blue. The tins are pretty neat, but you definitely pay up for these. And then also got the uh, Pontiac Firebird. Or yeah, the Firebird, the Catfish, well, the Camaro, it's called the Catfish Camaro. I'm not sure what they call this gen of Firebird. I was about to say Catfish Camaro, but I know that would have upset a lot of people. But this Firebird's pretty cool. Alright, next up here, we're going to show this off last. So, got the Hot Wheels Speed Machines 4 GT. Happy to have this guy. Finally got him in the collection. Here's the back. I want to get that Porsche 911 so bad. Have the rest of the, what I want in this almost. And I finally got from my buddy Stan. Whoa. Knocked the camera. Thankfully it didn't fall over. I got the uh, Rugrats Reptar Wagon. Happy to finally have this in my collection. Very glad. Pretty cool. Old school piece of Nickelodeon history. So, cool to have that. And then my buddy Matthew from uh, Cali got me this... Uh, Yanko Camaro from Fast and Furious. Very nice of him to do so. Always nice when your friend looks out for you. Rear. Taillights. Everything I would expect to see on a premium. I only wish the wheels were a little smaller in the back. But other than that, this is a pretty cool 164th. And then this is all on the back here. You can look at the models, but I like this the best out of all of them. Too Fast, Too Furious, and Fast and Furious. The first one, third one, will always hold a place in my heart. So, Finally got the Dodge Power Wagon Team Transport. This with the retro rig. The Macho Dodge Power Wagon. Just that America type of uh, paint scheme. Pretty cool. All right, down to the last three uh, models that we have here to show off for you guys. Um, All right, so I finally got the Hawk Extreme Customs, the Shazoom. Pretty neat car. Some might find this a little bit cartoonish, um, but I think it's kind of cool. It's different. And uh, I'm going to display it along with all my other Hawk models and my Chip Foose cars that I have. I finally unscrewed some of these because the chrome base takes up a lot of uh, space on this. So I'm going to unscrew this guy and then use this for... Um, and then have this out in the open and display it. I mean, to have Shazam. Oh, yeah. And here's all the others on the rear that you can collect. The box is not in super great shape. But I don't really care 100% about that. But if I ever decide to use the box, I'll still keep it. And up here, this one is a little more detailed. I'm going to start collecting these guys. These CarQuest Auto Parts. Uh, 164, 124 scale, sorry. I've been on the 124 scale kick a lot lately because they've had, I've been finding some pretty nice stuff in this scale. This 33 Willys is pretty cool. 
I got a look at the underside of one of these in a few pictures on the internet and they are really nice for what they are. Oh, I keep knocking the camera. Why do I keep doing that? <sighs> Just at an awkward angle. And then I finally got this guy here. I paid like 70 or 80 bucks for this. I think $75, the Long Beach Lowrider. Thought this was cool. And we'll probably have this up for review eventually. I likely am going to review this car for the channel. I didn't even notice this had some plastic on it. Hmm. Take care of that later. All right. Thought this one was pretty nice. They don't really have a lot of castings in these lock riders and Long Beach low riders, but this is by Malibu International. So I thought this was really cool. There we go. I got the plastic off. So yeah, pretty nice looking low rider there. Happy to finally have it. That's what I think. Some of the plastic is starting to delaminate. Yeah, some of the plastic is delaminating from the box. Alright guys, well, that's everything that I have for this haul video. As always, remember to check out the rest of the channel for more content. And uh, as always, it has to be the J-Man 6-3. Just wanted to keep this one short, simple, to the point. I will see you guys on the flip side. Later.